No rules, no tree, no family, no way. My name is Dimitri Salida, I'm 27 years old, I'm a professional boxer. Dimitri Salida! I was born in Odessa, in the Ukraine. My family immigrated to, the, to Brooklyn, New York in 1991. They used to make fun of me and because I didn't speak English. And, uh, you know, got picked on. I kind of like a new kid on the block. When I was 13 years old, uh, I joined the Star City Boxing Club. I remember uh, the first day that I walked in, I met Jimmy. Jimmy O'Farrell. Most people call me Jimmy O. In the early part of the 20th century, Benny Leonard fought Irish Eddie Finnegan in a small American mining town. Many in the partisan crowd yelled for Finnegan to kill the Jew. Motivated by their prejudice, Leonard unleashed a barrage of punches, staggering his opponent. The beating continued until Finnegan managed to get Leonard into a clinch. While locked together, Finnegan pleaded in Yiddish, Go easy on me, Benny. My real name is Seymour Rosenbaum. I can relate to, to uh, why some of the previous Jewish boxers became boxers. They were, they were immigrants. They came to the United States. They were looking for a better life. And boxing, you know, boxing is, is one of the ways to get there. So uh, I definitely, definitely tremendously uh, draw inspiration from him. Dmitry Salita was born in Odessa in the former Soviet Union. After years of anti-Semitism, when he was nine years old, Dmitry, his brother Misha, and his parents emigrated to New York City. Well, when his mother came and told me what right outside the door here was that she wanted me to take care of him. I think she knew something that we all didn't know. My mother had breast cancer. It was a difficult time. I was 14 years old, a difficult time in my life. As a person, you know, I'm sure it forced me to grow up quicker in certain ways. Jimmy wouldn't train me. He would just tell me, you know, just go hit the bag and kind of get that frustration out of your system. It kind of gave me purpose amongst all the madness. One day I came to visit my mother. The lady that she was rooming with her husband came to visit her. And uh, he was an orthodox man. And, uh, you know, we spoke for a bit, and then he guided me to a local rabbi, a local Chabad rabbi. That my mother and I had a very close relationship. She kind of typical, uh, typical Jewish mother in that sense, you know, very loving and very caring uh, and, and overprotective at times. Uh, you know, and, and, you know, of course I miss that. But it so happened to be by divine providence that the, the first meeting was made when his mother was, was uh, unfortunately very sick. And that's the first contact. I don't even remember myself. I don't have that good memory to remember exactly how it developed. But since he lived close, it was much easier for him to then come in contact and come to the synagogue. And slowly, slowly, his, uh, as long as, along the way when his career was growing, his observance and his devotion to his obligation, his mitzvahs, you know, was also growing. <laughs> Today, Dimitri, star of David Salita, is the only ranked boxer in the world who keeps kosher, attends synagogue, refuses to fight on the Sabbath, and puts on teflon daily. We did box in the middle of the afternoon before before Shabbos gets here, and uh, it's good. It's good. So I don't have no problem with it no more. And I don't know why in the world I don't have a problem with it. You should. You can find any danger in the middle of the week. It's just Saturday, 24 hours from Friday to Saturday, and. I don't see no wrong with it. His, his religion changed him altogether, completely changed him. I went to a shul one day with him. They had all these guys with long beards and the black hats and everything. They were all sitting around. And he's sitting there in the middle of them talking. That got me to thinking and remembering that. So I feel that there's more to this kid than they seem to think. Dave Scooter Honig is Dimitri's nutritionist and conditioning coach. In terms of nutrition with uh, Dimitri being kosher, still eating the same foods. It's just be, be, being prepared in a different manner. Dimitri is a, is, a, is a boxer. He's what they call a scientific boxer. Up on his toes, slipping and sliding, twisting and turning, which is the old school. He's Russian, prays Jewish, and fights black. From the blue corner, Dimitri Salida. We asked Dimitri if he feels any contradiction between his religious observant life as a Jew and the competitive physical field of boxing. I come from a non-observant background. I started to get involved with, with Chabad uh, when I was 14 years old uh, and uh, you know I already, I was already boxing 
uh, and you know becoming religious and becoming more observant is a step-by-step -step, is and was a step-by-step -step process for me uh, so as it happened in my life it's not a contradiction now if a son of a rabbi or a yeshiva bachar that grew up religious his whole life you know would want to go up go out and become a professional boxer then for him it would be a descent you know what i mean for him it would be improper but it's not improper for me because you have to understand where i come from everyone has a talent that's unique to them and i'm trying to do my best with 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 what god has given me uh and you know and uh promoting israel and promoting judaism through sports uh, is 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 what I have to do at this stage of my life, and you know, and I can only do that, and I, I only do that because of boxing, because boxing gives me the opportunity uh, to to be seen and to see, and uh, you know, and to be on international television with an Israeli flag and, and with the star of David on my trunk. He is a living example. A living example is the best example. He's a living example of a person, no matter what his career is. But the career is not a contradiction. To your, commit, to your other commitments, to God and to mankind. Mitri. Every avenue of life serves as an opportunity to, to do good. From a Jewish perspective, it's important. If he wins this fight, if he wins this fight, he's going to be the biggest thing inside of heaven. I'm telling you.